And what are these? Like uh, I can see these horns. What are these for? So I'm um, a bit devilish today. So <laughs> yeah, you look devilish, man. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, a lot of people would think, oh, this guy is in some devil stuff, right? Okay. Now during the protest, I was a peaceful protester, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Now this guy gets me, you know, one of these police guys. I was being interviewed, just like you're interviewing me right now. Yes, yes. The guy was talking about my fashion. And so the police guy comes and shoots my thigh with a canister at close mm -hmm. range. Mm -hmm. And I was pissed and I said, okay, <laughs> let's get it done now. Uh -huh. You know? Uh -huh. And we go to the parliament mm -hmm. when my friends were being shot and I saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, they shot Ian in the back. Mm -hmm. they, shot, they shot Ericsson yeah. and that other guy, the blew his head. And I witnessed all that. I was broken. The man, or this one. Yeah, we call him the man behind the man because there's no any other man behind him. Uh -huh. So he's behind himself, in front of himself. Uh -huh. He's every, everywhere. Uh -huh. Kenyon Road, the baddest okay. designer in 254. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then, and then another one behind. Oh, this is a supermodel from Paris. Oh, this is from Paris. <laughs> yeah, this this one also from this is also from Paris. It's so called Marielle. Oh, Marielle. My name is David Chams. Na leo hapa na msani. Uh, tu kwanza introduce Bronny aje? Poa sana. Poa? Yes. Maybe just introduce yourself to the you know, followers and the viewers. Okay. So uh, my name is Austin Ochichi. I'm an actor, high fashion model, and a voiceover artist. And uh, I work with Kenyon Row. Yes. Okay, Chichi. Yes. Ni kuita hivyo, sidiyo? Ochichi. Ochichi. Yes. It's in Japanese. It's a Japanese word for... You want to hear about this? It means <laughs> ochichi in Japanese means breast. Yeah. Oh, means <laughs> yeah. It means breast. So anyway, yeah. You're okay, saying <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay. Many people ask. You know, you, you, there's a, there was a time when we trained Sana and the many Kenyans are going to Lisa. Who are Chichi? You're Kenyan, boy. You're Kenyan. Uh, half Kenyan, half Ugandan. My mom from Uganda mm -hmm. and uh, my dad from Kisumu Luo. Oh. Yes. So you are uh, you are brought up in Kenya. Yeah, pretty much it. My entire, all of it. Yeah, I've been here. Okay. Yeah. So, what does your Chichi do? Chichi is an actor. He's the greatest actor in the world. Mm -hmm. He's the man who's going to win the Oscars one day. Mm -hmm. The man who's going to build a city. Mm -hmm. And um, Chichi is a, um, it's a big, it's a big brand, right? I'm a model. I do modeling stuff. I do voiceovers. I do every single amazing stuff out there. Okay. okay. Yeah. When did you start acting? When I was ten years old. Yes, uh, in Madari, when I was in Amito Junior School, mm -hmm. I started acting, and I've never looked back. Oh, Ulele or Madari? Yes, Madari. Okay. Yeah. You understand Swahili? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, kuna time you, you I, I've, okay, I've seen you with a, a big team. Yeah. Uh, are this, is this, is this your crew or something? Like yeah. the, the people you work together? I'm, yeah, there's actually one of them. You yeah. know, pull up. <laughs> it's actually one of them here. This, let, let, let them just come. So yeah. They, even the other guy. This is one of my oh, this one. friends we work with. There's, there's this Aura. He's a model. These are all models. Uh -huh. uh, this is my designer. Uh -huh. This is this is this is the man behind the man. Oh, this one. Yeah, we call him the man behind the man because there's no any other man behind him. Uh -huh. So he's behind himself, in front of himself. Uh -huh. He's every everywhere. Uh -huh. Kenyon Row, the baddest okay. designer in two five four. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a supermodel from Paris. Oh, this is from Paris. <laughs> yeah, this this one also from this is also from Paris. It's so called Marielle. Oh, Marielle the comes from Paris. Yes. Yeah. How did you find yourself in Kenya? You guys. This guy is the baddest man. <laughs> That's how we found him. He's the baddest. Yeah, Kenyan oh, underscore yeah, yeah, row. He's the baddest. We yeah. just found him. Kenyan row. Okay. Yani mbaya. Yani mbaya san. Mtambue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Udum Rem, right? Ama? What? Is this a lady or a Nah, come on, man. Oh, man. It's how just, do you look at me like... Yeah, yeah, you, how do you look the way, the dress and everything. Oh, you know? looking I get, I get the medal of the outfit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I get the medal of the outfit. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looking desert avalanche suits. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, Tuna kuja kupigwa picha bada. Wacha numaliza nena msani. And then we talk, eh? No worries. So, so. Okay. so bro, yeah. um, how did you meet with this the whole team? Because I can see that you're more than like... Six or five. Yeah, we are a lot of people actually. Mm -hmm. But Kenyon Royal, the guy with the horns, mm -hmm. we started as dancers. Mm -hmm. You know, back in Kisumu, we were like dancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I when I got to Nairobi here, um, I got into acting, and then I got into fashion. Mm -hmm. 
and then I met him down the streets one day, and I was like, wait, hold up a second, this guy's crazy actually. I want to be a part of this. So we started working together, and uh, I had to dye my hair, oh. uh, you know, and my eyebrows and everything. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. I had to do that. So you, you look like a Congolese, man. <laughs> no, like a Viking, man. A Congolese. Yeah, maybe a Congolese from. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Most of Congolese musicians dye oh, their hair. Pupa. Bali Pupa. <laughs> I will along home, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how it happened. And, uh, mm -hmm. and what are these, like, uh, I can see these horns. What are these for? So I'm um, a bit devilish today, so. <laughs> yeah, you look devilish, man. <laughs> now, um, I'm a fan of Nordic music, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, the, um, there's this band called the Hilang. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of horns and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I like seeing that stuff. It's exciting and I think it's artistic mm -hmm. and it's unique. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people would think, oh, this guy is in some devil stuff right okay. but i'm just having fun that's oh, it nothing yeah. crazy that's okay yeah. there was a time you trended a lot uh, on the street during the protests yes you held somebody carried up what what just tell us briefly what happened okay that, okay all right so this is what happened we were protesting right like peacefully and all that and then gen z's yes uh, gen z right yeah, yeah. now during the protest i was a peaceful protester mm -hmm. right yes now this guy gets me you know one of these police guys i was being interviewed just like you're interviewing me right now yes, yes. the guy was talking about my fashion and so the police guy comes and shoots my thigh with a canister at close mm -hmm. range mm -hmm. and i was pissed and i said okay <laughs> let's get it done now uh -huh. you know uh -huh. and we go to the parliament mm -hmm. I was, I'm, of course i didn't get inside but, but i was outside the senate mm -hmm. when my friends were being shot and i saw it mm -hmm. uh they shot ian in the back they shot they shot ericsson and that other guy, the blew his head, and I witnessed all that, and there was a lot of bad stuff going on there. Was it that much trauma, you know, seeing your friends dying like, you know, uh, you know like rats in the street? I was broken. You turned to the right person. Yeah, I was broken, and uh, I'm still working on it. Okay. Yeah. What do you tell Gen Z's? Because, you know, outside there, because this thing caught many people by surprise. People didn't expect like agencies will come and turn tables around. The power belongs to the people. That's what I can say. <laughs> yeah, power belongs to the people, and uh, that's just what we displayed. It belongs to us. We put them there, and if they're not working, we have a right to come out as people and talk about it and express ourselves. Yes. And there is this uh, room of the nani nani. You know, another another protest. What do you tell people? I say, it's your right. If you want to go out there and protest, you have a right to do it. Nothing should hold you back. As long as you don't go stealing people's property, as long as you don't go looting, yeah. go there and express yourself. You have a right. It's in the Constitution. Yeah. It's our right. So let's get it done if we have to do it. Yeah. Today we hear uh, uh, men's health, uh, men's mental health awareness. Mm -hmm. And you know, men are going through a lot in, yes. uh, outside there. Yeah. And... Uh, some internalize, some talk, some don't. But the majority don't talk. They just keep it themselves. What do you tell them? The more you keep it in, the more it piles up and it blows up. When it blows up, you're gone. So what you want to do is share your pain with your friends, people close to you. Call your father, call your brothers, you know, go meet professionals like a therapist and stuff and talk to them. Yes. It's being said it, it's all about the women, eh? Are the one causing all these problems for men. Uh, what, what what advice do you have for ladies or women, married or, uh, women? I tell you something. You're definitely older than me, right? Yeah. But this is my this is my advice. You let me know if I'm wrong, okay? <laughs> you now, this is it. All right. Do not just pick women that will not understand you. Surround yourself. If you have to have multiple partners, if you have to have one woman, pick wisely, okay? Not just the looks. Find someone you can talk to. You know, relationships are all about communication, right? And people think, hey, it's hi, good morning. Nah, it's all about, can I share my struggles with this person, okay? And if you can't find that out of them, run and get someone else who can do it. Because here's the thing, we have, we have this heavy burden as men. We're all out here trying to impress these ladies, buying them gifts and stuff. It's pressurizing us because, listen, we're struggling financially. We're trying to get, we're living below our means. But, you know, they want these, they want flowers. Also, the best advice I can ever give a man, if you're broke, don't be in a relationship. 
True. Yes. Last word is to your fans. I know you have followers. Hello. I say it again. This is Austin Uchichi, the actor. And as I promise you guys all the time, I'm going to become the greatest actor in the world. I will build a city, a city of God, the best city where everyone is going to be rich. That's my biggest dream. And I will get it done. And I'm glad I'm saying this on his YouTube. And I'm excited. Thank you so much, bro, for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Eh? Yeah. That was great.